So in this episode, I want to show you how to correctly apply the film emulation LUTs that come with DaVinci Resolve. They're in the Film Looks folder. And what tends to happen is when you apply them, if I take this Kodak one here, and just right hand click and say apply to current node, you get that kind of thing. So it's really heavy contrast, the levels are completely wrong, and it's usually very oversaturated. Now this is because it's been applied incorrectly. So I have seen people try to correct this by going into the key output tool and bringing back the gain, which is basically reducing opacity of that node. So you're not really doing the film emulation, you're just lessening the effect of it. So that's not the correct way to do this. So I'm going to reset that. And in fact, I'm going to reset that whole node. And what I want to do is just talk you through what I've got going on here at the minute. This is the original shot. This is Blackmagic 4K pocket camera. And what I'm going to do is take all this footage here. I'm going to disable this by pressing Command D. And all we're left with is this node here. This is the node I use to get this into the correct Rec. 709 2.4 color space. So I'm going to switch the bypass off and you'll see what this node is doing now. So it's just taking that log profile, the camera raw log profile, and it's adjusting it into Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4 using a color space transform. So that's in the open effects up here. And in the library, you'll see color space transform. I've applied that on, go to my settings, and I've adjusted my input color space to be Blackmagic Design Pocket 4K, and the input gamma to be Blackmagic Design Film. And my output color space is using the timeline, which is currently set to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. And then what I'm doing is grading underneath that node. So here is my node tree and my node number one, I've got my exposure. So basic exposure control and node number two, I've done a bit of work with uh, just getting the temperature a bit more balanced. And then we've got a series of parallels here. Uh, I've done a little bit of work in the sky up there. I've done a bit of work in the log tools down here. I've done some focusing on the rug and just making that a bit red. And this one is adjusting my sky and then this one is adjusting my skin tones. So this is the overall look that I've gone for so far. So now what we want to do is add our film emulation look. So we've got the grade looking good and this is in Rec. 709. So what we need to do in order for the film emulation looks to work, the ones that are built into DaVinci Resolve, is we need to change our color space. So I'm going to do that after the color space transform here. So this is taking us all these grades up to 709. And then what I'm going to do is enable this node. I'm going to go to my open effects and I'm going to add a color space transform. And what I'm going to do here is change our output gamma and I'm going to select Cineon Film Log. So we're changing it to Cineon Color Space. So we're going from 709 into Cineon Color Space and this is what allows the film emulation looks to look correct. So I'm going to add another node. This one's just to transform my color space. And now what we can do, if I, in fact, if I click up here and say Live Preview, if we put our mouse on the particular LUT, it gives us a preview of what it's going to look like. And you can see already that it now looks correct. So this was the one that we used earlier. And you now find that all the colors are in the right space. And this is emulating a Kodak uh, 2383 at D65. So we can apply that. I just right hand click and say apply LUT to current node. And now we've correctly applied the film LUT. And if you want to keep things simple and you're already working in Rec. 709 color space, you might not have this color space transform here. You don't need to work on a node tree like this. You could just be grading in your regular preferred workflow. But as long as you apply this node before you want to apply one of these film looks, then it will work. You must go to Cine on color space first for the LUT to work. Okay, so how do we dial this back a little bit if we want to? Maybe it's a little bit strong and you just want to knock it back a bit. So the problem we've got is if we click on here and do it using the key output tool, which is how I tend to dial back nodes, is what you're doing is uh, effectively putting opacity on this node. You're then revealing this color space transform here. So we're then revealing just going to Cineon color space. So the image is not going to look great. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to drag my mouse over these two nodes here to select them. I'm going to right hand click and at the bottom I'm going to select create compound node. And what that does is it puts these two nodes together in one node. And now when I go to my key output tool, my gain works correctly. So I can now dial back the amount of film emulation that I'm putting in. So I hope that's helped demystify why these film looks look so strange when you apply them straight away. 
So just bear in mind that not all LUTs need transferring into Cineon color space first. Some of them are ready to go with Rec 709 or P3 or whichever color space you're working in. So just have a look at the particular LUT first. But this method applies particularly to the DaVinci built-in film looks. So if you enjoyed that episode, give it a thumbs up and look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.